Blanker. You know him. The whiny little baby that's always in your face and gets mad when he doesn't get his way. Yeah, that guy. He's got a lot of weapons. Let's talk about him. The lever shotgun. It's really easy to use and really easy to fight against. You'll be surprised how many times you can instantly humble someone that's all up in your face with this. But you can't go wrong with stock. So, there's nothing to really talk about. They're also really annoying to fight against. They'll always be up in your face. But they never swap to their melee or pistol. If they're even using a pistol. They're probably using witch's brew or something. Take everything I just said about the liver shotgun and throw it out the window and set it on fire. I hate you guys. A lot. The double barrel is an alright weapon, I guess. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good either, so I can't really say anything about it. On the other hand, the people that use it think it's the best weapon in the game and always try to do flashy shit with the self knockback and then die to fall damage, so that's always fun to watch. This guy isn't good at the game. He thinks he is because the Battle Patrick skin makes the double barrel look cooler, but he's not better. Not better than you, anyway. He's not better than a lot of people. It's kind of sad. The soda popper is where people actually are good at the game, that's why they use it. They don't need to rely on the double jump. That's why I don't use it, because I'm an idiot. But if you use this weapon, I have a lot of respect for you, honestly. You're also probably really chill. I've never met anyone that uses this weapon who's mad, so props to you. I like you. You're cool. If you use this gun over any other thing, you're really cool. That's all I have to say. You're not using this weapon seriously. You either have a contract or you were dared because I've never seen anyone use this seriously unless they're under level 10. Like, honestly, it's never used. It's not that bad of a weapon, but no one uses it. That's all I can say. either under level 50 or over level 150. Never in between. When you're in bosses or you're using the super sneakers with some stunning melee, rally racket or sandman, it's never really used apart from what I just said, so probably really annoying. I gotta go cut this point. My specialist will help me with this. No one will ever be able to cap this point. Not when I'm on it. No! Either you kill them before they saw you, they saw you before you could kill them, because they're really good or really bad. It's no in between, but it's never used, so I don't know what to say. Pistol version of the mock coach. They're either really good or really bad, just like how the pistol was. They think they're better too, cause mock coach, but it looks good, so. This is the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, if it was actually good. 
and it is in this game. It's really good if you don't have a medic, so they're probably really competent and don't need to rely on their shotgun. This is my personal favorite. Um, it's really good on mechanic and flanker. It's just good all around, but I never see anyone use it. So if they're actually using it, they're probably realizing that it's good, so they're probably good as well. You use this with a double barrel, or you're actually good at the game. You drop down from really high, and then you kill them before they even saw you. They didn't even know you were on the enemy team. They only knew you existed when you killed them. It's pretty scary. I never see any one of these being used. Either one, they're both fine, I guess. They definitely have their strategies, but it's never used, so... Can't really say anything about it. The only time I ever see them are if, if they're trying to distract a sentry nest, but a casual team isn't that coordinated, so you're not getting anywhere with it. You're annoying. I can tell. All you do is drink it right around the corner, and I know you're around the corner because you can see the skull through the wall. You should know that by now. Most people don't, so probably really bad. And if they're good, they're really annoying. There's three possible things, and usually they're all bunched together. They usually play bosses, they are a team player in pubs, and they joke about it being his cum. New player or doing the Flava loadout. It's never used outside of that. If it is, they're probably bad. If they're using it for the Flava, they're probably alright at the game, though. You want to jump higher as Flanker. Do you want to be able to jump down on your enemies and scare them like Batman? Here's this. It's worse than a winger, but you don't have to take it out to jump higher. Yeah, that's it. It's just a shitty winger. You want to cave people's skulls in with a baseball bat? Of course you don't. You're not a psychopath. Do it with a fish. In all seriousness, the people that use this are probably pretty chill. If not, they're a new player. Or they have a strange baseball bat named the IRS with 14,000 kills on it. It really depends what the image is, but if they're using this, they're probably an asshole. They probably made it strange, and they only use it on flanker. They don't use it on any other class. I only ever see this in bosses. It's not used that much. It's not that bad of a weapon, though. If someone's using it, they're probably using the super sneakers or the winger, and the double girl. It's not that bad, so... The only downside is really the 10 health that you take when you triple jump, but health packs are everywhere, so it's probably really good if they use this. Holy shit. I have a 
lot of respect for you. I don't even care if you're an asshole or not. If you have a Bloxy award, I really respect you. How fucking lucky are you? You're using it on Scout, too. So, you probably really like the pan noise, but I'm not gonna argue because the frying pan is funny. But you have a gold one, so I have respect. Probably thinks he's helping in the beginning of the round with hurting himself with it, with the medic. But I don't think he realizes that the medic's uber-charged charges faster anyways during setup time, so it doesn't really matter. But he still tries to help out by running at you and swinging and then dying. You're lucky. You got it on that one day that it was also removed, so... Good for you. The same rules apply from the Brooklyn Basher, so... The only thing that's different is that he actually knows what he's doing and doesn't run head on and tries to beat you with it. Because he knows what he's doing. This guy's a force to be reckoned with. He knows how to conserve his ammo because he gets 50% less. He knows how to pick fights because of the less ammo. And he gets health back on the kills with any weapon he uses. So you might want to be careful when you see this guy on the enemy team. Every time I see this being used is in bosses, and that one time I saw a dude with a collector's cold shoulder with 14,000 kills on it. And I'm not exaggerating. I wish I had a screenshot, but I didn't take one. So you just have to trust me on this. They're probably good, maybe mid-level in skill. This guy doesn't care if he has a pyro or if you have a pyro. He's gonna kill you with the mini crit no matter what. That's all he does. He shoots you once with a meat shot with a shotgun, and then he takes out his melee and tries to kill you, and then dies a horrible death. You think you're cool, don't you? You try to stun me, and then you miss all your shots when I stand completely still, so there's no reason to stun me anyways. You're gonna miss all your shots. You should be using, I don't know, a rap assassin? Sandman for people who actually realize the Sandman isn't that good, so they use this instead because it does at least 70 damage if you hit the ball directly, and the entire bleed goes out. They realize the Sandman isn't overpowered, so they use this instead, and I respect that. When I first saw the Handyman in my inventory, I thought it was a harm wrecker for Scout, but it's not. It's just a wooden sword reskin. So everyone uses that over the wooden sword, if they have it. And they're usually playing bosses, so that's something. You made it to the end of the video. You can like or subscribe or whatever, I don't care. Uh, I do this for fun, I'm not gonna beg you. Um, if you don't agree with any of my opinions that were in the video, that's fine. Complain in the comments all you want. Uh, this was really fun to make, um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Definitely will be more in the future, so look forward to that. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. See y'all on the next one.